dude, you know how like this fucking whole thing is about race. Like, if if you go for your own race, I don't care at all. I don't give a fuck. You know? Yeah, I go for my own, I go for my own race. You know, if you're a white guy, you go for your own race. If you're a fucking black guy, you go for your own race. I don't have any problem with that whatsoever. The problem I have is when people go against another race, strictly against another race. Okay. I don't like that. I mean, you know, to each their own. Some people might like that. I don't think that's cool at all. That's me personally. I don't think it's cool to go against another race. I think it's racist and everything. But it's just, you know, snitching on themselves again. All these, all of a sudden, Alexander Pavekian fans. Let me put it to you like this real quick video, okay? They've done videos and discussed Deontay Wilder's last five fights, okay? They will do videos and discuss... Deontay Wilder's next five fights. They have not done videos at all on Pavekian's last five fights, and they will not do videos at all on Pavekian's next five fights. Okay, Thunderdome Boxing did a video on uh, Wilder's last five fights, and not one on uh, Pavekian. But all of a sudden, he's a big Pavekian guy. Same with Precise Presenter, PP. He's a fucking sicko. You know what, PP? You know, all those things that fucking Father Murphy did to you, you know, the numerous improprieties, the fondling, all that shit, you know, the fucking penetrating your hindquarter when you were a Walter boy. I agree, that sucks and everything. But, dude, you got to break the chain. You got to shift the chain and let it go. That doesn't mean you're, you're free, fucking free to do that to those kids and shit. Let those fucking little Korean boys you got locked in your basement go, dude. They've had enough. You need to seek some professional help for your problem or seek a fucking pistol and end it all. How about that, punk? So, yeah. They're not going for Pavekian. They're going against Wilder. And just, there's nothing cool about that, man. Why? Wait, what the fuck did Wilder do? What the fuck did Wilder do? Nothing. What a joke. You guys got no sources. You guys aren't any kind of boxing reporters. You don't know anybody. You make shit up off the top of your head. This is going to piss you off. You know who a boxing reporter is? Me. I'm a boxing reporter. How about that? Thunderdome, PP, Newton. I'm a professional boxing reporter, and you're not. Here, maybe I'll throw you a, You want Mauricio Herrera's number? I'll start you off on that, Thunderdome. Fuck out of here. And I don't even know why um, Thunderdome is even, you know, doing videos or AdSense. Dude, you don't need the money. I mean, you might not have it now, but, you know, I saw you went to Penn State. And they're cutting those checks any day now. I mean, you're going to be a rich man. You know, that Sandusky thing? You're getting paid, bro. I mean, you know, why even doing the AdSense? You know, you're getting paid big. They're cutting fucking checks for all the victims. So, you're stoked, you know. I just can't believe how, you know, I totally expose PP's fans, how he's totally using them for money, telling them whatever they want to hear, lying to them. And what's this, it's getting lost. What, are you guys just going to forgive that? What a bunch of cowards. I mean, this dude's playing you guys like fools. I proved it beyond a shadow of a doubt. These guys are strictly about the money, and that's it. You know, they, they go out, they do the trial and error. They say, okay, what is going to sell for me? And that's what they do. And by doing that, they're playing you like suckers. And you're still fucking like, you haven't even, no one's even said to them, hey, dude, you know what? Fuck you, you know? Have some balls, man. You know? I mean, dude, the, I've got so many instances. Here, let me prove another one. This one's ridiculous. Now, but we counted that as a legit threat, okay? Um, it, it, it's amazing a fighter with only 14 professional fights is was able to make it number four. But that goes to just show how great this guy really is, okay? So the fans of you who, like, don't watch him and you think he's boring or something, really need to start watching this guy or just... It's almost how all of his viewers feel about Hawker Mustang. There you go. You say Rigo's boring, so this is what Thutter Gnome has to say to you. What the hell are you watching boxing for? You know, go watch UFC, basically. Okay, no and here you go, Cuddy73, you know. Thunder Gnome says, what the hell are you watching boxing for? You don't know shit. What the hell are you watching boxing he didn't, for? He said it, I didn't. Watch UFC, basically. Okay, no and more. one more, Zapata Boxing. You don't know shit. Go watch UFC. Boxing ain't for you. According to Thunderdome. I mean, dude. <laughs> when are you guys just going to open your eyes, man? You're getting, you guys are getting played. You're getting pushed around. You're getting your fucking lunch ticket stolen. You know, Golovkin had not convinced me that he could compete with Andre Ward. 
So I don't want to see that fight right now. I want to see Golovkin try to unify 160, like what Andre Ward did at 168. And I want to see Lada try to unify 154. And after that happens, let's match them all up. Lada Golovkin, Golovkin Ward, maybe Ward Lada. Meaningful fights. Fights that let us give us a clearer picture and, and let us decide how good any one of these guys are. And we, we already know about Andre Ward. Uh, Golovkin got a lot to prove before I'm excited about him fighting Ward and Lara got a lot to prove before I'm excited about him fighting Golovkin. It's simple as that. Uh, I guess I'm going to sign off now and uh, thank you all for watching.